Omega and Swatch's Moon Swatch collection has achieved notoriety unprecedentedly in the field of collaborative timepieces. Last 2022, the two Swiss watch titans, part of the Swatch group, generated quite a stir when they collaborated to deliver the original bioceramic Moon Swatches. Moon Swatch timepieces each duplicated the design of the original NASA-approved Omega Speedmaster worn during the Apollo 11 moon landing in 1969, and each featured vibrant color schemes representing the moon, sun, and nine planets in our solar system. Owing to the iconic status of the watch, the Swatch X Omega joint line ignited pandemonium, resulting in long lines, explosive sales, and unusually significant secondary market activity. Due to high demand and subsequent resale dominance, with Hughes selling for up to four times the $260 retail price, Omega and Swatch made it their mission to ensure supply would match demand over time, promising that the collection was not intended to be a limited release. With sales predictions aiming for 500,000 units sold by the end of 2022, it's no surprise that Omega and Swatch are preparing to introduce a second generation, Mission to Moonshine Gold. Despite the name leading many to expect that this new edition would be a gold tone build, it instead describes a variation of the Mission to the Moon model with a second manufactured out of Moonshine Gold, a fade-resistant 18K yellow gold alloy proprietary to Omega that employs a mix of silver, copper, palladium, and gold to give it a paler finish than typical 18K yellow gold. Although the Mission to the Moon Moon Swatch has proved to be one of the best popular versions of the collaborative wristwatch, considering the mystery nature of its introduction, it's fair to say that this 12th iteration is relatively poor, with many admirers online calling the design sloppy. While the release will surely be chaotic, thanks to resellers and brands' decision to make this a physical-only drop at select retailers, Initial online reactions have been overwhelmingly negative. Regrettably, most fans have battled to obtain their moon swatches nearly a year after the first release. Will things change with the Mission to Moonshine Gold edition? The only way to know is to wait and see. According to Nicholas Hayek, the moon swatch was inspired by a desire to promote the benefits of bioceramic, a revolutionary material developed by Swatch in 2021. Swatch developed and patented bioceramic combines, a polymer produced from castor bean oil with zirconium oxide, a ceramic material used in high-end watchmaking for scratch-proof, strong hypoallergenic casings. The result is plastic with scratch resistance and the solidity of ceramic, a smooth matte finish distinctly different from regular plastic, and a significantly lower carbon footprint. Hayek constructed a Speedmaster prototype quietly and presented it to Omega's museum curator, Petros Protopapas, who gave it a thumbs up. Meanwhile, Hayek recruited Omega's head of product, Gregory Kisling, to handle Galileo, the internal project code name carried out entirely in secrecy within Swatch. Kisling was the one who came up with the idea of designing timepieces based on the colors of the solar system and integrating references to past Speedmaster models. For example, the red and white Mission to Mars model is inspired by the white dial and massive red outer casing of prototypes built in the early 1970s for the Alaska project, a short-lived research program to create the ultimate timepiece for spaceflight. The orange design on the Jupiter model is inspired by the so-called Ultraman Speed Master, worn in a Japanese TV show of the same name from the 1970s, another collector favorite. On the other hand, Moonswatch chronograph arrangement is the characteristic that most clearly identifies it as a swatch. The brand's chrono movement, which has been used for years, has the two upper subdials at 10 and 2 o'clock rather than 9 and 3 o'clock. Only the third subdial at 6 o'clock is an exact reproduction of the original Omega Moonwatch. The Moonswatch is thus out of reach 
for the majority of people. Prospective customers' displeasure has been exacerbated by the Swatch's ambiguous comments about the likelihood of e-commerce availability. Now, thank you for reaching this point. Let's go back, shall we? According to Esquire.com, the Mission to Moonshine Gold Edition is similar to the existing Mission to the Moon swatch in steel gray, but with the chronograph hand-coated in gold alloy. It comes in a distinctive gold box with a full moon prediction certificate. Omega's unique material, Moonshine Gold, was introduced in 2019 for its NASA-approved Speedmaster Professional Apollo 11, 50th Anniversary Moonshine Gold. The 18K alloy is composed of 75% gold, 14% silver, 1% copper, and less than 9% copper. The copper gives the alloy its distinctive pale color and increases its lifespan. A one-of-a-kind gold Speedmaster-inspired model was made in 1969 to commemorate the Apollo 11 mission's success. Just 1,014 were produced with 3-28 going to NASA's active astronauts. Numbers 1 and 2 were presented to Richard Nixon, President of the United States, and Spiro Agnew, Vice President of the United States. Both were returned due to their high cost and are now on exhibit at Omega's museum in Biel, Switzerland. Last year, the Moonshine Gold Alloy was also used for two Speedmasters. One has a green sunbrush dial, and the other has a gold one with black and subdials. They cost 38,400 pounds and 40,300 pounds respectively. The Moon Swatch Collection, a collaboration between Omega and Swatch, included 11 pop-themed alternatives in plastic-like bioceramic, Mission to the Sun, Mission to Venus, Mission to Neptune, famously retailed for under 207 pounds when it was released. The Mission to Moonshine Gold Edition is a standalone model, not part of the series' current 11 models. When Swatch introduced the new watch, the internet went crazy, with fans producing eye-popping gold mock-ups of what a Moonshine Gold model may look like. The new model, like its predecessors, will not be offered online but only at Swatch boutiques in London, Milan, Zurich, and Tokyo. Sounds were seemingly chosen for their close ties at gold. And that's it! Thank you for watching! If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be updated for upcoming videos like this. Before you leave, what do you think of the Sega watches? Are they underrated or not? If you want to know more, make sure to click and watch this video right here. See you there!